Hey YouTube and uh, vinyl community, stereo fans, and anyone watching this video. Um, I have gone speaker mad, absolutely mad. I am mad. And this tower of power right here will show you uh, some of the reasons why. Um, I've been wanting to do a video for a while now. I'm just going to turn down. If you've ever tried finding royalty-free music on YouTube, um, it is torturous. Um, that's what I'm playing right now, so YouTube cannot ding me. Um, but just finding it um, is agony. So I felt a little bit of background music. We'll turn it back up might be pretty good uh, to have in this video um, but I've been wanting to do uh, a speaker video for a while now I think we're gonna start from the bottom left and work our way up uh, clockwise this is my favorite speaker of all time uh, KLH model sixes I'm going to tell you why these are my favorites. Let's see if we can hold on a minute here. I'm going to pause the video and uh, get my back scratcher and see if we can uh, open this grill cloth. Okay, I used to laugh at people who always uh, would grumble about doing videos one-handed, but now I see what they mean. Um, this is a $1 back scratcher that I got at uh, Walgreens initially to scratch my back, but now I found that, uh, oh, we'll extend it here a little bit. It's great for uh, taking off uh, grill cloths on speakers. We'll just put this up here and we'll pop the grill on these KLH Model 6s. I'm also gonna use it as a pointer because I re-doped the entire surround foam when i bought these things and i got them at uh uh salvation army for four dollars and 99 cents for a pair and i was so excited because you typically don't see speakers like this out in the wild and when i posted it into one of the forums people just jumped on me how are the surrounds? How are the surrounds? Did you re-dope them yet? And it's, you know, like the speakers are going to uh, self-destruct if you don't do it right away. I listened to them initially and they sounded fantastic. Um, but in reading about uh, what happens with these cloth surrounds and, and uh, various uh, uh, reviews, I decided to re-dope them myself, and all I used was um, Rust-Oleum uh, Leak Seal. It's rubberized. It's got the right uh, kind of flexibility, but rigidness to, to uh, redo the surrounds. I also did around the uh, uh, voice coil, which some people recommend to do. Um, but after that, um, the next thing I got from people online was, did you do the capacitors? Did you, uh, re redo the, um, crossover? You got to put new capacitors in that thing. Same deal. Like the speakers were going to self-destruct, uh, if I didn't put new caps in. Well, guys, I did it. I, I put new caps in, um, and I, what I did with a, uh, Sharpie here, I put the dates uh, of when I did the the reseal and then when I replaced the capacitors and the crossover network just so someone doesn't panic if I ever decide to sell these things which I'm not going to do um, they sound fantastic guys and uh, for four dollars and ninety nine cents you can't go wrong above that uh, this is a new acquisition for me. Uh, we're going to go through two new acquisitions. These are Bang & Olsen uh, Beovox S45s. We're going to use the same thing here. I'll show you 
the foam is perfect in these. So any of you guys online who are like, you need to you need to recone that. You need to put new uh, sur surround foam. No, I don't. You look at the excursion time. It's perfect on those. These are uh, acoustic suspension speakers, hand built, built in Denmark. Uh, those of you who might not be that familiar with the brand Bang and Olsen, they make beautiful products. And Bang and Olsen uh, Scandinavian design is the perfect combination of uh, form and function. They look beautiful. They sound beautiful. They're somewhat uh, neutral, so uh, I think they're great for vocals. They're bookshelf speakers, so they're not that big. I've got them stacked on top of the KLH Model 6s. Um, and I love them. Uh, I didn't pay that much for them. I got them at a consignment shop. My son had noticed them uh, when we were in there uh, browsing through. And I came back uh, the following week to uh, scoop them up. No one had bought them yet. I won't say what I paid for them. It was uh, was more than the KLH, but not a heck of a lot. And they're worth a lot more. I'm not going to sell them. Um, above that, Advent. Advent Minis. Uh, see if we can get a good view of them. Really can't. Genuine pecan wood tops and bottoms. Um, Advent was bought by Jensen. And these are actually, uh, were made during the Jensen era. Um, and they were first for Advent. They're actually bass reflex speakers. They're ported in the front. They're small bookshelf speakers. No, you don't get a lot of bass, but what you do get is some amazing crispness, amazing imaging, amazing vocals. Guys, I got these at Savers for $6 for the pair, and they are mint. They are absolutely mint. And no sign of foam rot. The grills are impossible to pop off, but... I don't hear any of that flapping or vibrating you typically get when uh, you've got foam rot. So these are a great find. Um, my first job out of college, I worked for a company called Leechmere and we sold these and we sold a ton of them. Um, nice little speakers. And you can, this little Advent logo right here you can even move horizontally. So if you want to put these uh, in in a horizontal configuration, you can do that too. We'll move to the right. Another pair of speakers I sold when I was at Leechmere. Very controversial speakers. These are the Bose AM5s. I won these from Bose in the sales contest. I didn't pay anything for them. I think they sound nice, but you know, Bose bashers uh, will probably uh, start scurrying and you have Bose. You know, uh, I, I saw an acronym uh, before owning uh, something like that. Basically bashing uh, Bose speakers. Guys, they're not that bad. They're really not. I know they use a lot of marketing and a, a lot of uh, sales gimmicks, but for free... Acoustamass, uh, I'll take them. I've had them ever since. Um, I've got two pairs. I think they sound great. They probably don't have a, a much in terms of mid-range, but again, they were free. We'll move down. Uh, Klipsch Synergy SB3s. I'll take out the handy um, back scratcher here. Beautiful monitor style studio grade horn loaded bookshelf speakers. This is a um, six and a half inch woofer. The surrounds are perfect for all the surround police that are out there. There's no foam rot, there's no tears. 
and these might be the best sounding speaker that I own. Um, we're actually listening to them right now. I mean, not that you can get an idea from uh, YouTube compressed video, but um, they're dynamite. I got these at uh, Goodwill. I paid uh, $9 for the pair. Practically mint. Had to do a little bit of touch up with uh, a black Sharpie. And I love them. Um, I've never owned clips before. These were uh, engineered in the US. Yes, they were made in China, but what is it uh, in 2017? Um, I think everything is made in China today. What can you do? It's, it's a new world, uh, but these speakers are dynamite. Finally, we're gonna go down to the Pièce de Ressence, or something, something French. I, Pièce de Ressence. Pop the grill covers here. These are JBL Northridge N38s. I got these for nineteen dollars for the pair. We'll show the uh, the woofer surround police. The surrounds are perfect. They're bass reflex speakers. There's no rips, there's no tears into uh, the woofer surround, so you can stop panicking right now. There's the uh, port mid-range. It's a titanium tweeter. Yes, I had to do a little bit of touch-up on these. Uh, black Sharpie marker. We'll go around to the back. And I've actually got a new terminal set on order. Um, I actually paid more for that than I did for the uh, speakers themselves. But right now I've got it jerry-rigged uh, with a couple of uh, alligator clips. Northridge. N38, 8 ohm impedance, they sound beautiful, they sound perfect, they're the most efficient speaker that I own, they're incredible, they're absolutely incredible, and now I see what people mean when they talk about the JBL sound, this is what's known as a West Coast sound, these guys here, the uh, KLH Model 6. I don't know how you describe the Bang & Olsen. The Advents certainly are. The Bose certainly are. Those are East Coast sound. The Klipsch, it's probably more of a West Coast sound. The JBLs, the pinnacle of West Coast sound. The pinnacle. So I'm going to stop this vi video, try out different speakers. I, I know they take up a lot of room. They're, they're torture to carry. Um, sometimes you get lucky, and I, I've got lucky with uh, all of these speakers. Um, you can really get audiophile grade speaker quality on the cheap. You don't have to buy these things brand new. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.